Okay, in this short video, we are going to do a little bit of revision on paragraph 3.5 on missed payments. We said it's common during the lifespan of a loan that a single or multiple payments are missed. There are different ways to treat this. First of all, the value of the missed payments can be added to the next payment to be made. Or the second option, it can be added to the final payment. The third option is that we, the missed payments can be added to the remaining payments to be made. And then the last option is that the duration of the loan can be increased. We are not going to do the last option, but we are going to look at the other three options in example 42. So in example 42, we have a loan of 10,000 rands that has been secured at an interest rate of 18% per annum compounded monthly. And it's to be repaid by 24 equal monthly installments and we have the timeline to illustrate this. Now suppose that payments T7 to T9 are missed and we want to compensate for these payments. In the A part we want to find the additional amount that must be added to the 10th payment. So we have missed payments For T7 to T9, and we would like to know um, what amount must be added to T10 to compensate for that. So the first thing we would like to do is to find the value of the missed payments at time T9. So we can consider this as an annuity, and remember an annuity always starts one time period before the first payment. So if we take this as T6, then our annuity actually starts at T6 and from T6 to T9 can be considered an annuity and we would like to know what is the value of the missed payments at time T9. So we can get that the future value of an annuity Okay, so that is the formula that we have. Um, the payment is 499.2. Then the interest rate was given as 18% per annum compounded monthly. So that means it's 0 0.015. And there are three payments. So our K is a 3. Okay, and if we go and do that calculation, so we get that the value of the missed payments at time T9 is equal to 1520 and 30 cents. Okay, and then the second part of this will be then just to move the value of these missed payments to time T9. So we now want to move the value of the missed payments at time T9. We want to move it to time T10. So to move it one time period we take the value of the missed payments so we take that 1520 and we move it one time period Okay, so that is the additional amount, 1,543 rands and 10 cents. That's the amount that will be added to um, the payment at time T10. Then the B part of this, um, of this question is, if we want to find the additional amount that must be added to the final payment, so the final payment is at time T24, um, Again, we will just find the value of the missed payments at time um, T9. So we already did that in the A part and we found that the value of the missed payments at time T9 was 1520. And now we want to move that to the final payment. So to do that, we will just take that 
1520 and now we move it from time t9 to time t24 so now we actually move it um, 15 time periods we move it through 15 time periods we get the amount at time t24 as 1,973 cents. Okay, so that is the B part. You can read that remark there in a, another way to solve these questions A and B. I'm going to move on to the C part. Find the equal amounts that must be added to each of the remaining payments to compensate for the missed payments. In other words, we want to add a certain amount X. to each of the remaining payments to compensate for the missed payments. Again, from um, the A part, the value of the missed payments, we have already calculated that. Now we're going to consider this amount, this 1520, as the present value of a loan. And we're going to find the payments um, using the 1520 as the present value. So we have calculated payments previously in many of the previous examples. So to get the payment, it is the present value, which in this case is now the 1520. Okay, and again, we have 15 remaining payments. So I get that 15 by taking 24 minus 9. So if I take the 24 minus 9, I get that I've got 15 remaining payments. Okay, and you can go and do that calculation. If you do that calculation, you find that the additional amount that you're going to add to those payments is 113 rands and 94 cents. So you will pay the 499 rands and additional to that a further 113 rands and 94 cents. So if you add those two you get the payments for the last um, payments from T, um, what was it, from T10 onwards. Um, and the additional amount is the 113 rands.